Smash. Looks like it's going to be Smashville again. We are ready. We're good. We're good. We're ready to go. I think this is the wrong text. Mark and Lucina tied for fastest walking. That's what I like to hear. Big fan of walking. <laughs> Sonic, however, from rank, ru rank one in running. I am. Now, Marth vs. Sonic is always a matchup that I've been very comfortable in, but I think Sonic has a little bit more of an edge in this game than he did uh, in Brawl, where I think Marth took it pretty solidly, just because Marth doesn't have the same ability to zone as he did before. Detail doesn't exactly have the same potency. Forward air doesn't hit as low, which is very important for a ground-based character like Sonic. And the fact that Sonic has a lot more damage off of like just getting that neutral B. Back during the Brawl yeah. days, he did like, oh, here's 10%, and now i got to run away and get that 10% again. Now it's like, here, eat this 28% damage, and then, a fall, then um, if you don't fall in the right place, you can get uh, essentially the 20 damage yet again. Yeah. Also, it, no, go ahead. Like, Sonic, if you really aren't aware of how he plays, you will actually die faster than flying against like a Sheik or something like that. Because his damage output's insanely quick when yeah. you don't know what's going on. Exactly, and you just get hit by lots of things that you didn't see them coming. Uh-oh. Oh, is this We're is doing this a good job. The oh. God confident. Oh, oh my God, no. he he was a little too confident, <laughs> a little a little too confident, right that, there. That, that would have been kind of sick. Now, <laughs> even if even if he lost his stock too, I'm like whatever, I'll, I'll take that. That's some flash points. Nice, it's a, it's nah, a, I really like it's a Zen breaker. Me. Yeah, for sure. It's like especially when your opponent starts off the match doing really well. I like the F tilt there. It was great use of the spacing. Oh, that was not the right punish. He missed yeah. the pivot grab. Gets not the sure why he went for a pivot grab, but just a regular grab when your opponent's in huge lag like that. Don't get too flashy with it. Oh, oh, God, just yeah. bounced and tried to go to the photo. <laughs> yeah. Was that Sour Spot? No, yeah, it was not a tipper. Uh. Marth is a power character in this game. Oh, do, do explain that, by the way, because you mentioned that a lot, but I don't think the viewers understand what you mean by that. Yeah, I mean, in this uh, previously in previous iterations of Smash, if you look back to Melee, and of course Brawl as well, Marth is a finesse character. He's all about, um, he's a zoning character, rather. His goal is to remain as safe as possible while racking up safe damage. He doesn't play hit, or, hit and run, uh, and he doesn't just try and find one good read and get a big hit. What he really tries to do is simply keep himself as safe as possible and play a war of attrition with his oh opponent. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, oh, that would have that <laughs> been disgusting. Oh, is that? Oh. Really, man. <laughs> but in, in this game, Marth actually just wants to find a strong read, carry it to a KO, because he can actually just kill you at, like, 40% or something this ridiculous. This is actually death percent for Sonic right now. Yeah, it's I mean, death percent for Sonic was actually 40% ago. Untipped, I mean, tipper forward smash with Marth in this game is actually the strongest there uncharged forward smash. And, and yeah, you no need, we need to tech those. <laughs> no tech, no life. Sonic takes game one. <laughs> But yeah, you want to actually just look to find opportunities to get those early stocks off your opponent because with the neutral air, with the tipper down smash, with the up smash, and with the forward air, you have a lot of early KO potential. And like I just mentioned, uncharge uh, tipper forward smash is the strongest forward smash in the game. It beats out like even villagers forward smash and all those ridiculous dumb moves like Bowser's forward smash. Nobody cares. It beats out Bowser's forward smash? It beats out DDD's forward smash. Tipper Marth forward smash is oh. ridiculous in terms of base knockback. So... Uh, yeah, he, he is a power character in this game. I don't believe that he has the tools necessary um, with the roster being very, very more footsy and, and uh, up close oriented. Look at the strong characters in this game. You have Sheik, you have Diddy, you have Zero Suit Samus, you have Pikachu. All these characters are really, really good at being up in your face and fighting you up close. And uh, Mark doesn't have the same tools and utility in his moveset that he did in previous iterations to say, hey, listen, don't be in my face, get out of here. And he's not as strong as that type of playstyle as he used to be. So I think, you know, kind of converting your playstyle into just converting uh, what little advantages you do get into very early kills is a much, much better baseline strategy for him. But we are not seeing Mark in this game at all. Instead, Ness comes out to play, and Sonic continues to run circles around it. I'm sorry, I am. Trying to plug this tournament out at the yeah. moment. <laughs> please, please solo yourself. <laughs> cool, cool beans. Well, right now, Koop is doing a good bit of work running around Ness. He gets a good grab down throw here, and he's trying to convert into something, but instead just take the safe spin dash option, seeing if Ness is going to mess up the mix up. It looks like Ness is not having a good day at actually blocking any of these spin dash approaches. Rolling, not the most effective way to punish, and he's not having the time of his life timing his grounded counters. Koopa, very nice conversion right there, and he's not doing any big damages into huge rack ups. He's just actually taking one hit at a time, resetting to neutral, winning the neutral again over and over again. I think he's won maybe seven or eight neutral stances so far. It's a lot, so uh, um, that's nice KO there. He found a good opportunity to trick his opponent, who's playing a little too cautiously, 
into just giving up that KO. So that's kind of odd, considering that Ness is kind of kind of character to play cautiously. Ness is the kind of character to be like in your face, like here, let go with these grabs, or you think I'm gonna grab? Let's go with this uh, like falling up air, yeah. neutral air. You're like really good get off me tools. Probably one of the best in the game next to like Luigi's Nair. Yeah, so I, let me I definitely agree with you 100 percent there. Yeah, like it, it's because it, he never really had those kinds of tools in the other games, and that's what like made him really you know, terrible. Yeah, he had was, the fair, but the problem with the fair was that it just gets outranged by too many of the good characters. Uh, I mean, in Melee, Ness was just awful. It, like, his frame day was awful. His combo conversion's like, awful. In Brawl, he was okay, but that grab release shenanigan completely obliterated any chance yeah. he had of doing And the problem was, like, the, the top tiers were just way better at zoning than Ness. Like, take a look at Marth at uh, Falco, who can trade the, the fair... I mean, who can weave into the fair with a back air, who can just reach him with some of his grounded moves, like his jab just destroys Ness. You know, he didn't have the range necessary to compete. Of course, Meta Knight doesn't even need to be spoken of. So... <laughs> Good dodging of that PK Thunder 2 and tries to go for the side view read of the spot dodge. But he just forward smashes him after that down smash. That spring is probably going to still disaster. Oh, not yet. But down smash? No. It was too, too, too oh. end like, but there it is. Koopa just running just circles around him and then socks him a good one in the face. Koopa takes it 2 0 over Godfident. And the collection tills will be empty tonight as Godfident is sent to the loser's bracket. Aw, oh, shame. And I'm actually... The